In this video, I'll show you how to set up a quick 2D camera with a few tips and tricks, as well as confining your viewport to the relevant play area. Okay, so first thing you need to do is Window, Package Manager, and then just ensure that Cinemachine has been installed. All right, next, go to the Cinemachine tab up here and click Create 2D Camera. What this will do is it will create a what's called a virtual camera on your scene. And effectively what this does is it's, it replaces your camera transform, kind of. So if you'll see here, I've got my, my virtual camera selected. When I move it around, my actual camera itself is pinned to it. Okay, so all we need to do to get this working and following our, our player is simply drag on our player into the Cinemachine virtual camera follow slot. Now, if we press play, you'll see it's already giving us pretty, pretty nice desirable results. Uh, so there's a few things we can do with this. For example, over here on the X damping and Y dampening, let's change that to five. And if we go back in game, we'll see it adds a bit more of a floaty feel to it. it kind of looks a little bit cinematic. Next, I'm sure you noticed these red borders here. So that's called the dead zone and it will only show you if you've got your virtual camera selected. But the way that works is if we just go this way, you'll see that the character will never be allowed to leave uh, your confines like that. Another cool feature of Cinemachine is the look ahead time. So if we just go put this to about four, add a bit of smoothing to it. Now you'll see when I run, you'll see the camera is kind of like looking ahead of where we're actually going. So obviously if you've got like a fast paced game and you're running to the right, you, you want the player to be able to actually see what's coming. So Cinemachine can easily handle that for you. All right, so what if you don't wanna show this much of the level all at once? So what we can do is let's just reduce the size of our player here a little bit. And let's zoom the camera in just a tad like that. Okay, so now, now we don't have the full level in view. So that's all right, but what about all of this blank space here that's not really helping anyone? What we can do is we can confine the camera to a certain area. Okay, so this is incredibly handy. So with your virtual camera selected, scroll down the bottom and you'll see this extensions part here. If you click that and you add a confiner plugin, so what this is going to do is it's going to confine where the camera can actually travel. All right, so to give the confiner plugin what it needs, I'm just going to create a child of this level and call it confiner. And then I'm going to add a polygon collider 2D to it and then click the edit collider button. And then I'm just going to drag this around my level roughly to where I want the camera to be able to see to. With a little bit of padding there. And I'm going to make it a trigger just so it's not colliding with everything in the scene. And then on my virtual camera, just slide in the confiner. Okay, so let's give that a go. I'll full screen it, add a little bit of floatiness to the camera. Let's try it out. And yeah, there we go. So it's keeping the camera um, on the player and it's following it, but it's not allowed to go beyond the bounding box and show all that useless stuff. It's keeping more of the actual relevant parts of the screen, of the screen in view. So I hope that helped. Uh, if it did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.